Hello guys, so welcome back to our beach day lessons. So in this lesson, we're gonna, you know, uh, discuss or, you know, show the design or the beach day coding for the D latch. So uh, we know that this, we saw that this are, you know, uh, latch, uh, many versions out of, out of it, but basically since it has a forbidden states, so we're gonna avoid using it. And all the time we're gonna see that we are using either the D flip flop or D latch, uh, you know, or JK flip flop or T flip flop. The foundation of all these circuits is basically, of course, SR, and the D latch is based on the SR, but without the, you know, the undesirable states or, you know, forbidden states. So we're going to start by the D latch. Here is a D latch that we started in our lecture. Okay. It has, so basically, as we said, uh, you connect the S to D and R will be D bar. So it's one input, okay? And based on that, you know, the, out, the output here will, la will latch the input as it is. I mean, if D changes from zero to one at the same moment, ideally, of course, Q will change from zero to one, or yeah, from zero to one. If D changes from one to zero, ideally in the same moment, Q will change from one to zero. Why I am saying ideally because basically it, this will take some time because of the propagation delay through the, through the gates. But basically, you know, Q will follow D. That's why it's called transparent latch because it's not transparent. I mean, whenever you see uh, the output Q, that's basically the input, okay? So let's see how we can construct this in each day because it's really tricky uh, because Look here, this is a design. Let's, let's write something in here. So this is a design, okay? Let's check the inputs and the outputs. So the inputs here are D, E in, and the outputs are Q and Q bar, okay? And that's really important. Because we have here something special that doesn't that we didn't see before, that this input, this output, I'm sorry, Q or Q bar, are basically is uh, is input to some internal you know uh, gate in the design, and that's really you know you should take care of this when you when you code. So you can, for example, uh, for this NAND gate here, okay, you can't say that you know, uh, Q bar is equal to Q, which is basically one of its M, this is basically Q, you know, and it was, you know, whatever uh, this wire is, whatever it is, but you can't say this because Q is, is output. It can't be an input. So we should, you know, take care of that. So let's see how we're gonna do that. Here is, you know, the, the design. Okay, basically we start by the entity as usual. In the entity, we define the inputs and the output to the box. Here is the box, this red, 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 red box here. So the inputs are again D and the input, both are standard logic, very simple. And the, two, the outputs are Q and the Q bar, again, they are both standard logic. Okay. So what we're gonna do is that we, we cannot, as I said, say that this and then the gate takes Q as an input. So we're gonna define signals to do that for us. So I'm gonna design, uh, I'm sorry, define a signal called the QQ, okay, which will replicate basically the, this output Q here. And another signal Q, called QQ bar, which, repl which will replicate the Q bar output, okay. Also, I need some other internal signals like this one, for example, okay? So I'm gonna, you know, uh, or, or this one, this one specifically, and this one also. So I'm gonna name them SEM and REM. So let's check how we're gonna do that. So, uh, the first, you know, uh, here is also another signal that we need. So for this signal, I'm, I'm gonna call it SEN. Why? Because originally in the D latch, this was S. 
and the input here is E in, the enable. So uh, this this output here is the NAND gate or the landing of S, uh, the selection and E in. Okay, in is the input, and S basically here is D. Okay, so S E in is basically D NAND E in. Okay, so we defined this. How about this one? Look, the input here is basically show in the uh, in the SR latch is R, it's a prime or prime latch. Okay, and this guy is in. So the output here is basically we're gonna call it R E N, which is you know uh, R NAND E N. So this is basically the second the second signal R E N that we defined, and remember R is not D. So D is going to the inverter here. So R is basically not D. So not D, NAND E N. Good, so we defined these two signals. Now we should, you know, uh, code is, is uh, you know, uh, equivalent or, you know, some code to represent these two NAND gates at the output, okay? And here is a trick. So uh, you can't say that Q is equal to, you can't say that Q is equal to SCN NAND Q bar. You cannot say this because Q, you define the Q bar as an output. Basically, we can say we cannot make or put an output on the left hand side. So if, if you want to go with, so this should be like this that Q, that's what's, what is forbidden. That you can say that is that you is that you can say Q is equal to SCN NAND Q bar because because Q bar is an output it cannot be on the left right hand side here so that's the general idea general rule an output board cannot be written on uh, the right hand side of equation okay that's basically that's why we define the Q bar and Q Q and Q Q bar Q Q will be basically Q and the QQ bar will be basically Q bar, okay? So let's control that this. So we define the QQ and the QQ as a signal, which is basically the, this internal signal. This internal signal here is QQ is equal to SCN uh, NAND QQ bar. And the QQ bar signal will be the same. Will be RN, the signal in here. NAND, not Q, but you NAND the QQ. Okay. So avoid, we avoid using the Q and the QQ bar in these equations. But then afterwards, we're going to see that assign QQ bar to Q. And I'm sorry, assign QQ to Q and assign QQ bar to Q bar, okay? So that's basically, you know, the turnaround that we should use in order to avoid using uh, an output board on the right-hand side of some equation, okay? So that was basically the design. Let's check the, you know, the test bench. Here is a test bench for it. So just have two inputs, so we're gonna loop on each input from zero to one. So you have just basically four combinations. So let's simulate this. CD latch test bench. So it warns us that we change it. We didn't change anything. We just, you know, put something and make control that, but he considers this as a change. So uh, let's put that here. And we just need four, it's six nanoseconds. And zoom out. So here, as we see, we see something strange. We see that Q and Q bar has uh, undefined, U means undefined, values when the enable is zero. Remember, the enable here is zero at the first two cycles, okay? And we take in the lecture that whenever the enable is zero, that means it's it's a memory state. 
But since we just started the simulation, Q and Q bar has no values. They are undefined. So it's the They just stayed undefined. That's what happened. Okay. So that's basically proves the memory. It doesn't you know, violate our, our, uh, our output. Just, just because we, we just started the simulation, Q and Q bar has no values. You know, it has no initialization, we can say. So they just kept what they were. They were undefined. So they are undefined. And you just to refresh your memory here is, you know, uh, let's bring it in here. Yes. When the enable is zero, no change. No change, basically it was undefined. So just continued undefined. That's what happened. So then at that, you know, particular moment here, enable become one. So the, it's a circuit will do its job. It's a job is just to latch the input into the output, copy the input into the output, okay? So let's, so we should see Q equal to D all the time. So D here, for example, is zero. D is the first, you know, uh, signal, the top signal, it is zero. So Q is a Q is zero. And of course, Q bar is one. Then D become one. So uh, Q become one and the Q bar becomes zero, okay? That basically guides the D latch. So we're gonna build a package out of this D latch. Then we're gonna use it to build the D flip flop and to continue, you know, our journey with, uh, you know, with these VCD lessons. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video and see you in the next lesson. Bye bye.